You don't know that song? No. It's a banger. How do you not know that song? What do you mean? How I'm wrong with you? with you? I work a nine to five job. I have a girlfriend. I, like, you don't have time to listen to a little bit of music like, in the car. Like, 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 no. you, don't, you don't commute. Like you need to. Okay. You need to step up I have like you guys drive, my man. It's nothing. You need to step up your game, sir. I don't listen to like the. Radio. Yes, they're away. they're away. You're ski- you can see them, Scott. Right. They're what? Yeah. I know you can see me. I'm also wearing glasses at seven thirty, eight thirty, eight thirty at night. At night, oh, inside, God. with the windows closed. <laughs> oh, so for one reason. It's not because you have a bright future. My future is dark. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a turn in your comic book store? Okay. Woo! All right. What's up, guys? It's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat, and this is Marshall Talks, where we just sit around. Talking because we got nothing better to do. Content. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Because we have nothing Content. better. Yeah. yeah. Woo! This is not alcohol. No, it's a cream soda. No, saying that makes it seem like it is alcohol. I know. But it's really not. <laughs> you were always <laughs> <there. So laughs> drinking it. Oh, yeah. We're like, hey, or what are you guys, like, what are you you guys drinking? Cream soda? cream soda? Jesus, straight! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, so basically how this is gonna work, you guys have sent in some awesome questions on TikTok and Discord. Awesome. Some of them pretty great. Some, some like maybe, someone yeah. straight up said, Did you know that Geico could save you fifteen percent or more on power insurance? That is I wasn't sure. Did you know? I wasn't, sure. I wasn't sure. Hold on, let's let's start with that one. I did. <laughs> I knew. I I was unaware. He had no I, idea. I had no, did uh, you no know? clue. They spent a lot of money to make sure I knew. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Two okay. Anyway, Geico so Marketing. We're gonna go, if you Marketing, want to put job. your question in for the next episode of Marshall Talks, go to Discord, go to TikTok. I'll be, you know, in the comment section of this video. Whatever you, you know, whatever you like, whatever you, you fits your fancy. But, uh, give us something us. to talk Discord's about. Discord's definitely please. better, though. Discord is ideal. Link's down in the description. Yeah, there's like 500 people in there now. Did you see that? I, I did that at everyone this morning. Thing. Also, also, where's yeah. plug? Just, just gonna. Oh, yeah. this out here. But uh, if you want to take over with uh, no, what did. the yeah. game. These, you got these two. What these do you mean these two? We're here. Yeah. I'm you here. You say your name every time. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we got to introduce ourselves. Yeah, hi. I'm okay. okay. So my name yeah. is Modern Ninja. I already introduced myself. It's yeah, the did. Modern Ninja. Yeah, 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 I did. did. All right, you're, you're I'm, going for it. I'm Joel Messenger. I uh, do Discord design on here, and I uh, occasionally uh, try to explain basic physics and chemistry in the Discord. To no avail. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you have wow. a series coming out for it. Like, I do. Yeah, I do yeah. have a series coming out. Where you can yell physics at people and make yeah. it make sense. <laughs> <We're pretty laughs> it's going to be good. And yeah, over here. I am Wyatt. Uh, I come around once a month to talk about fighting. And uh, that's it right now. <laughs> uh, to be honest. <laughs> that's about it. Hey, that's really all I'm here for. He's, yeah. he's a hermit and then comes out once, once, a, month for, once a month for this. Unless yeah. you guys got like... Uh, fight offers for me. I, do you want to fight him? Do, do you want to fight me? Get in the kickboxing ring. Let's <laughs> sign a contract. Really, Come on, really I really want to fight. 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 Three fifteen. Really trying, you guys know, like fucking behind the bridges. promoters. If you're watching <laughs> this, probably not. Midnight. They're talking to the camera that's recording. What promote? What promoters are uh, watching uh, this stream? No one. But you know, you just gotta say Honestly. it, and get it out there. Hey, you have to, uh, I have oh, to put oh, that oh. energy out into you're the universe. You're streaming on TikTok. Right? I am streaming on How many? How many subscribers do you have on TikTok? Four hundred thousand. Okay, yeah. The likelihood that one of them, one of them, has a has a has TikTok. A okay. Or is also the likelihood that one them. of them is following me. Hi. However, yes. the likelihood that one of them's watching a TikTok live. You don't know. Mm, it's pretty low. I'm just, it is <laughs> it's, low. It's, it's funny. It's not pretty low. Okay. Do you, you know? Are, have you ever seen anyone over the age of twenty watch a TikTok live? I no. No. Fight there promoters, if <laughs> you're out there, please let us know in the comments you, boy. so we can get this man a fight. Okay? <laughs> he weighs like one. I weigh one, uh, 135. Come on, that's where I want to fight at. He wants to fight right there. 135. Okay, right there. we're also playing we're also, a game. We're also playing a game. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I figured stuff. that's, that's uh, called. Just like last time, it's word of the day, but the punishment is different this time. Uh oh. The, uh, the word of the day is practice, and anytime someone says it, I'm going to spin <sighs> this. And I'm gonna shoot whoever says it. Oh, okay. Oh. This is gonna be bad. Let's so, do it. So it's only a chance of. It's only it. it's only one in six. I'm gonna get shot so much. 
Well, that's only a chance. Wait, what happens oh, if you get flip. shot, though? You just get shot. You just get shot with a nerf it. gun in the face. Yeah. He, he, I mean, he's all, he can only see us from here he's up. He's just going to flinch yeah, like a there's child. Not a lot, there's okay. not a lot of options for him to shoot us in the body. It's, it's headshots yeah. only. Yeah. Like, can we make like, a little more high stakes or something? like Dodge. Okay. <laughs> what, you want to put a thumbtack in the dark? No, not a thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> you said high stakes. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah, that's true. Flat get the wrenches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can get the wrench. Oh, slow. man. All right, what's the first question? Let's get this, the, let's get this going. All right, the yeah. first question, um, because it's Avatar Month, is which Avatar element are you and which is your favorite? Let's keep it civil. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. I, don't, I, don't, I have no problem so, with other Okay, so, other so the first elements. part is which Avatar element... Are you like which one do like, you identify most with? Do we, do we want like what? Read it again. Which avatar element are each of you, and which is your favorite? So this okay, is so like, which one do we wait, would we identify as personality wise? I'm guessing uh, yeah, personality wise, and, and, and then which one is your favorite? Because I mean, exactly. for me, they're not the same. Yes, no, they're, no, they're not the same. What I identify with and what I would actually want is not the same. Yeah, I would actually want is not the same. Yeah. Um, go ahead. You start off. Well, no. What do you well, want to be? Bro, I want to be. Bro, I want to. I want to be an Earthbender. Right, oh, Earthbenders yeah. are the coolest. That's what I want well, to I be. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like everyone's on board with Earthbending. Yeah. yeah. Like, Earthbending is my favorite it's, bending. It's to especially see. in like urban time, like now in modern yeah, not, times, yeah, yeah, it's there's just glass everywhere, yeah. which is sand. There's metal like, literally that's everywhere. That's silicone. They, yeah, can, so they can, you, can bend glass. Okay, so it's all silicone. But could you bend? What metal, about like certain concrete? Metal. All concrete. All concrete. All concrete. All concrete. So <laughs> every <laughs> sidewalk, every street, yeah, dude. metal yeah. everywhere around you, like is super terrorist. But like, yeah. oh, whoop, every day. And buildings and if down. You're good enough, Flats, if you're good done. enough, lava. Yeah, dude, well, yeah. if you're good, well, I guess you it's just super heated rock, right? Yeah, but they do it in core. They do it in core. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. Okay. That'd okay. be super easy. Picture this: It's 2003. George W. has decided that Iraq needs to be no more. You alone jump out of a C-130. Halo, jump in, and then just as you're going down, pull all the buildings in. <laughs> and it makes like it would right be there. shocking. Up, it'd be like, let's <laughs> drop Joel right in the middle of the city and be done with it. Just like, drop five Earthbenders. Just just yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. it's gonna be. You're not gonna be the most powerful Earthbender. Yeah. Like. And that one, it's weird because like it'd be the flip side of reality, right? Because like in World War Two, the Japanese they had their houses out of wooden paper, so we just firebomb them into oblivion. But on the flip side of that, if wooden earthbender. wooden paper houses, earthbenders would be, would be fun. Can't do anything. Yeah, they have to fun. throw a rock at every single yeah. house. So, so, then, you, be, so, so then you send a firebender in. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, see, yeah, exactly. No, I'm you just send a different person. Guy. But it'd be cool. Uh, it'd be cool. So I, you would want to be an earthbender. What do you identify with, though? What do you think you are? You're really shifty. You move all the time. I'd say you're an airbender. Mm -hmm. I'd be airbender. I'd say they're shifty and they don't like to move. I, no, they don't like to sit still. Yeah, you're, like, you're all so the time. So I guess airbender's main defenses airbenders. are dodging. So yeah, just yeah. like okay. No, dodging. that's how I like to fight. Just move so, yeah, around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And personality-wise, you're kind of just like. I mean, uh, no, yes. That's what I was gonna say. That's not what I meant, but it's not inaccurate. Okay. Oh man, uh, that was funny. Anyway, I think I would do. So if I got to choose, Earth been there for sure. There's no question. Like, yeah. Yeah, water bending's cool with you know blood bending, but that's kind of it's the only messed thing. up. On full it's problem, and you can only do it in a full moon unless you're super special, which probably not. And then like fire bending, honestly, there's nothing that great about fire bending. Like. Uh, Burning people, right? So I, can the, always the, old, the, old, the old, always the old, always cook your food. You never, cook your food. Great. never pay a gas bill. Always have a hot shower. Com comparatively to the other options, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, there's tons of convenience, but like, I wouldn't say it's useless. It's not like if someone said, "Would you like to be a fireman?" I wouldn't say no. No, but like, I'm you just saying, you would take it's a choice. It's at the it's bottom not, of my list. Right. You would take an ice cold shower. You would reach up and grab that little spout and have a hot shower. For as long as you hold it. Yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. or. I'm going to shower like this the whole time. Just hear yeah, me out here. Turn around and... Or just hear me out here. You could just water bend it. But it wouldn't make it hotter. Make it and that also. Well, no, I, I, I want to bend. No, they can steam. Thing. They can make steam. They can heat up water. 
They can't. Well, they can. They can cool it. Well, they can, cool it. they can make ice. So they can. Tars made steam. Yeah, I can. They have to be able to put energy into and, it because there's a state uh, change. Uh, gates, of, gates of Azul on. They okay. bring up the steam. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. But anyway, earthbending is what I would want. Wait, that means I could boil you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. But I, I think like people, people say I'm fire. There's a, I'm a, there's fire a reason it's a, there's a reason it's based in very traditional. Yeah. Not kill. Yeah, them. because realistically, every earthbender has killed every single person they've hit with a. No one get no one's getting hit. No one gets hit with a rock bat going it's, that fast. It's, and and doesn't the apples are like, like a ton. Yeah, they're like giant boulders. Yeah. They're toss, not light. Yeah, toss out here with the tactical nuke already. <laughs> like honestly, they're they're killing people. But regardless, people say I'm a firebender. They're like it's. It, I don't know how. An accurate comparison. Is. Well, well, I mean, it's very, it's it's very all, flashy. You you're a flashy you person. Fire, but. Yeah. No, but you're a flashy person. It's a flashy, uh, and that's, it's and a flashy, flashy element. element. I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's... It's, it's a flashy martial... I'm not flashy. Art, and I fight... It? I fight... Honestly, more like a waterbender when I was doing fighting. Like, I... Like... But well, isn't... Well, it's pretty defensive. Okay. It's yeah. yeah. It's, no, I kind of see it. redirecting. It's waiting and coming out. There's the countering. It's all that stuff. Okay, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway... That's yeah. that's that's me. What you got? I think I would. I think I would definitely be a firebender just because I have a seething hatred for mainland China, and uh, and then I mean that's that's, that's pretty much it. Though. Just seething hatred and yeah, uh, seething hatred. Yeah, yeah. yeah There's pretty, a lot of a lot of issues. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but if I could choose, I would be an earthbender so I could just crush bones. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Which that video is gonna be cool. We're gonna yeah. have a video talking yeah. about uh, the, fact, the, the fact that Earthbenders should be able to crush bones. Yeah. Like okay. they should be able to crush. Or, wait, 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 aren't bones made of magnesium? More? Bones are bones are fifteen percent calcium carbonate. So bones. So not have, all of that fifteen percent is even carbon. No, but Much only four percent of steel is freezing. carbon, and they can bend that. Okay. So some someone's saying it's freezing, and then people are leaving. Let me see it. It's not frozen for me, but uh, it's frozen fine. for them. Are you connected to the Wi-Fi? Uh, it's probably that. I'm gonna turn it off Wi-Fi. Turn it off Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's just gonna go on data. We're, I mean, we're. Do you there we go. Last time. All right, it works. And <clears throat> you know what? As long as it works, it works. Well, he's putting it in that cup, which is gonna interfere with it. No, it shouldn't. The cup is it's glass. It's silicone. It's yeah, insulated. but it shouldn't be. It should be fine with my internet, with okay. my data. Well, I'm just saying, like, because your iPhone, you just uses the outside as the antenna. Mm -hmm. You just stuck the bottom half of your antenna in a big chunk cup. of rubber, and you're expecting it to receive signal at the same rate. So <laughs> it'll be better because it's coming from all sides of the data, but, like, with Wi-Fi, the router's behind. Wait, is it connected, right to, uh, connected to the computer, though? You can shove it in okay. down more, and yeah, it'll stay. Like okay, okay cool. cool. So we're back. Um, and we're back. So real quick, we're we just starting to, get into, you're starting to get into it. Um, what is... So you... Started to allude to it, but what is the most effective element? Oh, it's Earth. The most effective element. So I mean, I feel like it's it depends on how good you are with fighting style. So like fighting style. Oh, fighting style. Oh, fighting. So oh, just the fight, fighting style. Elemental style. fighting. I don't remember where so it's like are. so air bending is the Bagua circle walking stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, water bending's Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Earth bending is like the Kempo. the no it was, was it like, it was like the, northern like the, Chinese style. It stuff? was like the um. Like the north, yeah, the northern Chinese stuff, yeah, the like more solid heavy stuff. I don't know what it's called, um, but I know that's it's northern chops. It's northern kung fu, and then southern Shaolin kung, kung fu is definitely yeah, yes, how? yeah, and then sh southern kung fu is fire bending. Mm. Most effective though, mm. um, I don't know. Here it is. Here it is. Water renders Tai Chi Chuan. Okay. Water renders Earth renders is Hung Hungar. Hungar. What's Hungar? Kung fu. For it's the most part, and then gotcha. Firebenders is like Northern more. Shaolin, oh. and Airbenders is Bung Ha Zhang. Bung Ha Zhang. Bung Ha Zhang. Well, um, I don't know about Sir. Uh, you talking about beating someone up or yeah, like, like not getting like, for hit. fighting? For fighting, yeah, you can't throw rocks or fire or water. You just but you can hit someone to hit somebody with it. Uh, I'm honestly, immediately putting airbending out. Yeah, yeah, airbending's out. Airbending's out. It's, I mean, it's cool, it's good for you have to hit other them. things, but like, it's you not... You have to hit them yeah, still, yeah. It's not ideal. And it's, it, it's it's super... I don't know water if I'm... Bending. Yeah, waterbending's Tai Chi. <laughs> waterbending's also yeah, no. out. Waterbending's out. 
it's, so it's, it's down to I, I give it I give guys. it to I give it to uh, to fire because yeah. realistically increase for mobility. more people increase mobility more okay. offensive yeah. attacks and you know everyone's going to be able to just take take attacks yeah. Yeah. yeah like it makes sense if Not you're bigger, if you're a bigger pig. dude then sure but like if for everyone high. else that isn't. That's why Earthbenders is so slow. Exactly. That's why Earthbenders are so well, slow. Well, yeah, it's like, but same, same thing. It's like looking on karate guys, right? When you go into like their dojos, they've got like a weight rack over on the right mm-hmm. side. They pump iron like, before class because it's like rolling because they have whole, to take. Exactly. Their whole their martial arts is based big. around being big and square. So you got to be big and you got to be square. <laughs> you got to be solid. You got to be able to you take the to hits. You have to be rock. Which is yeah. fine, but it's, it's kind of limiting, especially yeah. like... For, yeah. for well, it doesn't matter how jacked he gets, right? Um, or I or mean, it's just also women bigger, yeah. yeah. Women, yeah. They're, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, Most you're effective for everybody. They're automatically at a disadvantage because women aren't built the same as men, and so you saying they're built different? They are built different. They they're just built different, just like LeBron. <laughs> just like LeBron. Just like LeBron. Same way. Different. Women, LeBron, <laughs> same. Built. built different, dog. We built different. Built different. different. Same. Um. And so, like, firebending allows for, like, you know, more open use for anyone that wants to learn it. Anyone that wants to learn it can't use it effectively. Cool. All right, what's the next question? Um, we're going to go to some questions that have been asked previously. So, sorry if I'm not getting the ones you're saying now. Some of them have either been asked or, you know. We're um, already, sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, the first one I've got is. here um, is... What is the driving force that got you into... This is from Danny Phantasm from Discord. What is the driving force that got you into martial arts? How old were you when you started, and how many different styles do you know? Okay. Um, That's fair. <clears throat> uh, um, I was a very small child, and not very big man. <laughs> how old were you, though? No, no, no. She said reason and then age. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, and that obviously... Uh, leads in to, How old were you? Uh, I was a small child. I was a small child. I was eight. Child. I started karate when I was General. eight. I was put in it. Where do you? I thought you were younger. I was eight years old when I started yeah, karate. I started and then uh, it was because my, my mom essentially uh, told me later on in life that it, she uh, didn't want me to get my uh, butt kicked in school. Essentially, yeah. she thought she essentially was like, "You're probably gonna get picked <laughs> I on. Don't want I want to make sure you don't get bullied." <laughs> and uh, worked out pretty well. He's small. Okay. Works out pretty well. Yeah. 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 And That's then what do you say? How many I know? Yeah. Did you know how many styles have you trained? Like three or four. Don't three or four. Oh, what are, what are I know. I'm just looking around. I'm thinking th- like three. Then like three technically. What are they? Uh, Tom Sudo, so ours. And then I guess kickboxing and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Okay. Joel. Okay, so I started when I was five. Uh, yeah, I started in really? Tang Sudo. Yeah, that was my uh, that's my only martial art that I have is Tang Sudo. Uh, I started when I was five. Uh, my mother had concerns. They weren't concerns that I was small, uh, but uh, she was. I uh, was super kind of nerdy as a kid. I figured out like how to run the TV remote, so I would just put it on like uh, Nat Geo or like Discovery Channel or something. I would just watch documentaries. And I'm a kid, so I'm absorbing all this information. Nothing's changed. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm just absorbing all this information, and then my mom would come in, and you know, she'd come in and talk to me, and I would just regurgitate this information back. And, you know, they're all adult scientists, so I'm talking like a, like a relatively intelligent adult, and it freaked her out. Like, it really bothered her. And so she's like, okay, we're going to get you to play with some other kids and be normal. And I, I was in Coffeyville, Kansas, where there's nothing to do. I mean, nothing. And I'm five years old, so it's not like it can put me in football or something. So she's like, oh, okay, what is there to do? And uh, okay, yeah, martial arts school just opened up, but Tong Zudo school just opened up. So she goes, here we go. We're doing this. And just uh, put me in there so I go deal with other kids. And I, I made some friends along the way. Uh, yeah, these guys, <laughs> about the time I was nine. But yeah, it was, it was uh, pretty good. But yeah, I, I guess my reasons for starting martial arts were being a nerd um, fair. and uh, scaring my mother. That's also a fair. good reason. Good yeah. reason. Yeah. Um, so I started <coughs> when I was six. When I was six years old. Uh, because when I was a kid, my the school system that I was going to go to as a kindergartner was really bad. Like, got shot up the year before I was supposed to enroll bad. Yeah, it was, it was not great. Um... Dang. Right? Let's see. Come, 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 come
that's, uh, that's not but anyway, sure. and the fact that I moved around a lot is just because like we were homeschooled, and so mm -hmm. instead of going into this school for a year and then transferring, my mom just kept us homeschooled, and so to keep us from being the weird homeschool kid, which kind of worked. Gives you some um, friends. She added us into everything. Like I played basketball. I played baseball. I played soccer, tennis. Like I did everything. You did tennis. I did tennis. What? what? I did. That's tennis. not wise. I hated fun. tennis. <laughs> a lot of running, tennis, honestly. A lot of running. But, but anyway, so we, I made it to martial arts, uh, and it was, um, what was it? It was Shotokan Karate, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I, I loved martial arts, and so as we moved, I started off, I started over at different schools until I finally made it to my, the school I made it to my first black button, which is Tong Soo Do. Um, and I met these guys there, and then I've also done, obviously, uh, Shotokan Karate, I've done Taekwondo, which is where I have un my only other black belt in the martial arts. I've done uh, kickboxing when I was a kid. I did wrestling in high school, and I did Kung Fu, which is actually really fun. It's really different. Yeah. Kung Fu is really different. It threw me off, but yeah. Uh, well, the yeah Kung Fu it's, too. it's, you know, it's an ancient right, art so. as opposed to uh, this is how we don't get invaded by the Japanese again. Yeah. And it's even, even like the bait, like instead of being the direct, yeah, one, two. It's like the big circles and yeah. like overarching like concept mm -hmm. kind of thing. It's super fun. Definitely yeah. different though. Okay. Um, here's this. A uh, Ethan Nichols from TikTok wants to know, how was your first Tom Sudo experience? How was it? I mean, I'm still here, so <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Do you remember it? Do you? I I remember my first class. Uh, it's actually one of my first memories. I remember one of my first class. It was super cool. So uh, my first instructor, his name was uh, Master Lewis. He's a super cool guy. He's got a bunch of studios now. And he, but anyway, so he came in and he was teaching at, uh, at this dojang. So my first class, we went in there and he decided, he goes, all right, so this is Tong Shido. Do. We're going to fall down a lot. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to break fall. And so he taught us, you know, you got to where, you know, we fall back and how to fall safely. He showed us it, I was five. He goes, all right, so now we're gonna throw you. And at the time, I remember, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. So he would get down on his knees, and we'd put our arm up over his shoulder, and he'd grab our arm, he'd stand up, and then he'd throw us. And it wasn't until like two years ago, I realized that this man is six foot three. Five year old. Standing up, full height, and just wham, wham. just <laughs> throwing us. Kids. And I was like, whoa, but, and like, and uh, yeah, I, I went back and I saw a video and like, we're all getting like, ha 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 ha, boom, like being thrown full length, just <laughs> boom, 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 child, every he's time. He's not a small dude. He's not a small dude. And we're just like he's, giggling because he taught like us how to. like a strong. Yeah, so he taught man. us how to do it, you know, and we're like, oh, okay, cool. And uh, all of a sudden, mm. falling didn't hurt. Falling wasn't scary anymore. And it still, it still isn't to this day because I know how to. Had a break fall, but I just remember that. I was like, oh, this is this is pretty cool. And I watched the video. I was like, what? Oh my god! Big man. Yeah, that was my first class. That was my first Tong Sudo experience. First Tong Sudo experience. My first Tong Sudo experience um, was in 2007. No, no. Yeah, I think 2007. Yeah. And then I was I walked in. And I had done some martial arts in the past. Obviously, never gotten past any substantial rank, but I'd done it for a couple, several years in the past. Um, and I walk in, and Master Cole Bailey looks at me. He's like, doesn't even ask, ask no questions. Like, hey, you want to try some karate? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, come on. And he takes me in the class. He lines me up. And then he pulls out these, uh, what, like, foam swords. Yeah. And he puts us in a circle. And he's like, all right, guys, we're going to play the high block game. So we stay in a circle. And we try to be fast. And looking back at it, it was literally just an excuse to be like, ha, got you in the head. <laughs> just just hit it. It was, it was the I do it when I want to just hit him. Oh, yeah. It was so but much it's soft, fun. so you can hit him as hard he as you want. He loved it. But, like, don't, and it's he, not was, he was going at it. He was oh, like, bang. He was like, <laughs> like, on it. It was, it was a, a challenge. Blast. And I remember, like, instantly, I was like, oh, yep, I'm here. This is this is fun. This is where I'm at. This is a good time. I can't remember my first karate class. Yeah, that's alright. He can't remember what he had for lunch today, dude. That's fair. I had that's fair. a 
Uh, I know what it is. Can't remember the name of it. Uh, <laughs> You're right. It's a se- I did, okay. Where you had an steak. hour ago? No, 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 it's not an hour ago. What? Oh, Do you lunch, lunch is eight p.m. Thought... This is dinner time. It's <laughs> my man. It's my lunch. My sleep schedule is kind of messed up. Yeah, it is. But okay, no, I can't remember this class. Yeah. Can't remember it. All right. Okay. okay. What would you say the best martial arts weapon to start off with is? The best martial arts weapon to start off with. <laughs> oh, easy this question. Is, this is from Slugger One Three Four on TikTok. Easy question. Easy Bosa. question. Bosa. Take it. That was my answer. Uh, Bosa. No, I don't. Wait, now he can give it. Now he can say it. And I don't have to say it. Is it a cop out answer? Oh, uh, you were going to say it like your hands, weren't you? No, I was going to say an M4. <laughs> it's not <laughs> martial, martial arts. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's integrated in martial as part of art. It's integrated as part of craft. Dang, you're right. Get fucked, nerd. It's Dang, right. Train. It's right. part of it. It is. It is. It's a martial arts weapon. That you're right. I hate <laughs> right. Dumb, though. Don't Such use a your bad hands. <laughs> no. Bow staff. Bow staff. As far as no, the melee martial arts what about weapon. Spear. That's a bow staff you can stab somebody with. It's it's great to use, but not for beginners. Oh, for beginners. That's for like beginners. your first your first your martial arts weapon. weapon. Oh, Even yeah. if you mess up, you're not gonna hurt yourself that bad. So probably go with hand <laughs> go with that, Oops. or like the, 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 the scrimmer sticks. Everyone, everyone, sticks can, not pick, a bad idea. everyone can pick up a stick yeah, and hit someone. Stick. But like, I think it's a good one because it's easy. You get a lot of different manipulations, but it is, you know, the, the entry bar to entry is low, but so is the ceiling. Yeah, one, no, no, one, one of my the instructors to pick up for a beginner. One yeah. of my instructors gave us nunchucks as a beginner. How'd it go? Terribly. <laughs> it was terrible. Nunchucks are the devil's weapons. Straight up, <laughs> nunchucks wake up in the morning. With no other goal other than make your life terrible, and I hate it. But I would okay. never give two. Like honestly, okay, give I was like a yellow two. belt. I was two belts in. Yeah. Okay. With okay. nunchucks. We all start until green. I thought. <laughs> yeah, but we start off. <laughs> no, it wasn't time. here. It wasn't here. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yellow brute belt. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'd say use nunchucks on a logic. Also, since we're on weapons, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna use this time to say uh, I got new weapons. And I'll do reviews and stuff on YouTube. Don't you worry, they're coming. But I'm saying, just look out for I'm the next saying they're coming because they're coming. Wow, that was that was not good. You better <laughs> cut that. <laughs> no, dude, I'm gonna zoom in on my no, I'm no, zooming in on my me. face. I'm gonna let it land. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in a. I'm gonna put it in a laugh track. I'm gonna put it in a laugh track. Put it in the laugh track. I'm gonna put it in the laugh track. It's gonna be like Big Bang Theory, where there's the one fat guy in the back. Like, <laughs> Me that please do. Yeah, 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 I'm going to. I'm Just ha- also have him start yelling, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, uh-huh. um, so if you want to check out, I'm now sponsored by Century Martial Arts. So if you guys are wanting commas or bow staffs or swords, or any weapons that you have seen me use, uh, check out Century.com. They will have, or CenturyMartialArts.com. They'll have a bunch of different options and. I have a discount code for you guys, Ninja10. If you put that in, you get 10% off whatever you buy. So your bags, your weapons, your your gear, whatever you, you want to find on there, they got it for you. So, uh, yeah, Same, shameless self-promotion done. <clears throat> Commercial but, over. Back to our <laughs> regularly scheduled programming. Good, thank you. I appreciate that. Good job. That's, that's teamwork right Transition. there. Transition. <laughs> Speaking of... Um, the Lonely Wizard from TikTok wants to know, how will these sword slash staff skills translate to lightsaber combat? Uh, not as well as you would think. Well, yeah, bow staff, I don't know. Bow staff's not bad. When they bow made, staff. like, lightsaber, it's a mixture of fencing and broadsword fighting, right? Yeah. It's like typical, like, knight fighting with, with the long but sword. But with one and hand. Then it's fi- and then it's fencing, yeah. So that's, that's definitely like, fencing. Yeah, so, like, fencing. but yeah, fencing goes into it, but it's like, how do you use a long, I don't know where, I guess, oh, I guess dark Big, broad, so, big, broad swings. Dark The you know? big, broad yeah, the swings. Thing. The, the thing with Red Bull, oh my gosh, am I on the legendary podcast? <laughs> the Marshall talks just to go throw bowls for my boys. <laughs> wow! If I was on this shop, I would go right to Century.com and buy some weapons that are pl- plugged by the modern ninja. Bowling. What a story! This you're, is a great thing to be on. You're not a single camera. 
Tell me his voice is booming. His voice is booming, though. He did. Oh, I forgot where it was. Oh, wait. Lightsabers. Just okay. a couple of bullets. <laughs> Honestly, if we're if I'm not sponsored by Red Bull by the end of this, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, they only give out like real sport sponsorships. Oh, I've got it much. How much? No, I you ain't on X Games. You don't get a Red Bull sponsorship. Actually, Fair. I don't know who gets Red Bull sponsorships. Well, like really actor sports. Like, watch me get a. Don't they got like a? Don't they got a plane team? Watch yeah, it happen. Got, it's like it's like extreme sports, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're playing. They have F1 cars, and they have. Anyway, like, anyway. So, lightsaber, I think the biggest issue with people thinking sword combat is the same as lightsaber combat is the fact that swords have a specific blade. Yeah. What you have to cut in one direction. Cut. A lot of it is manipulating it to block with the flat of that blade. Mm -hmm. and or even strike with the head. Yeah. strike with the head. And but a lightsaber, don't matter. Yep. It's omnidirectional, anywhere you want to swing. Which is really cool for lightsaber. Oh, that's but like usage of the long word. It actually means that See, a sword it. master, a sword master would have an easy time using a lightsaber. Yeah. But a lightsaber, like a Jedi, would have a struggle learning a sword. Yep. Yeah. Like, okay. It, it, it goes one direction. Also, you know, it weighs like four times same, as but much as a saber. That's Wait, also yeah. true. That's also also. It's not uh, as. Sa <laughs> I saw it in your eyes. I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> oh man, I saw it. Oh my god. It's the same thing goes for bow staff though too. Like if yeah. you, if you like Darth Maul. Well, a lot of bow staff except, manipulation. Except in the other direction. Right. So a lot like, of bow staff Darth Maul would be great at bow staff. Yeah. Exactly. Darth Maul would be great at bow staff. But a bow staff yeah. master would cut their hands off of yeah. the lightsaber. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as you, as soon as you just try sliding your hand, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. You're, yeah. Like, that's the hardest part. So, yeah, I don't think it would train. They really, and they, you know, they talk about that. If you look at, like, videos of how they were making them, especially for, like, the prequels and stuff, mm -hmm. they basically went in and blended some things together, and those choreographers made something specifically tailored for these weapons. 100%. They didn't and go out and get some fencing guy, toss him a lightsaber, and be like, oh, yeah, and then and it turns out to be Ewan McGregor. You know, it was just... They and they actually made, like, I think it's cool that they made different martial arts styles in yeah. the in Star Wars. Wars. Like, the lightsaber form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I, they have official names. Yeah, so we'll, I can't we'll, remember we'll, what the names we'll, are. We'll, we'll, you need to join the we'll, Order we'll, in we'll, Wales. It's real. We'll, the Jedi yeah. Order in Wales? Really? Oh, it yeah, is. It's yeah, it's right. It is real. It is real. Yeah. It's got some religion. I wanted to do that. I wanted to be like, eh, sounds fun. In some Wales of all places. I mean, I don't even know where Wales is on a map. It's so it's right. It's in know, the UK, England, right? So there's the UK, which <laughs> is Ireland. Ireland. Then England's the lower half of the Big Island. Yeah. Okay. The left part of the bottom half of the Big Island. That's oh. Wales. That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So like there's there's Scotland, England, and then this little bit over here is Wales. I think. I thought there was a little bit <laughs> on Ireland. No, it's not, it's, I know it's I know it's on the main on the mainland oh, the big one because it's not Ireland. You know, you got mm -hmm. Ireland and then you got Scotland. And I know where I know where that and is. And that's Wales, and then you got like that Isle of Man and stuff. Mm -hmm. around okay. There. Interesting. But yeah, I, I wanted. I looked into that. I wanted to do it. It, sa it sounded fun. It looked like a fun like you know weekend trip. <laughs> Come with you Jedi go for a quick. weekend. Yeah. yeah, like you. The boys go. The boys go. Vader and the boys in it's, Wales. Let's it's, let's go. It's a religion. They're the least is part of the religion. Okay, I There's can be part of a religion. Have you gone to a church? I can be part of a religion for a weekend. If look, to look. Jesus, like, have you gone to a church? You yeah. know that you didn't fully like yeah. belong to. Yeah, I have. There you go. <laughs> it's for the knowledge. It's for the experience. Okay. For the experience. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right, next question. Okay. Yeah. Bless me. Uh, Forge Ogaku. Yeah, Tommy from TikTok asked, um, what are your thoughts on taking traditional weapons and modernizing and tra training with these new versions for, for use of self-defense? Modernizing the weapons care? or the training style? What taking you like modernizing. Yeah. Modernizing. So I guess, I guess it would be like... Like what? what, what so, so, like, yeah, so like taking, taking Forge, since I have this here, they weren't Commas were farm tools. They weren't Original, aluminum yeah. body. Yeah, no, they're like they're, yeah, they're, blade bladed weapons. So I mean, as you can see, I have no problem with it. Like, I mean, it's still the same core concept. Like, you're just so making, like, it's, it's so it's taking a concept. sickle because I mean that's what it mm -hmm. is. It's a sickle for rice. Right. And then using it as a weapon. I think I feel like it makes it better. Like for use of self defense. Yeah. For use of self defense. You carry this where? No, but like, but like. 
You're not gonna conceal carry either one, but yeah. if I keep this in my car, if someone tries to, you know, come up on me you in my car, to, you're gonna hit him with the gun. Why not? Give me a reason I shouldn't. <laughs> a better weapon? Like what if I don't a have knife? Have... This works just well. <laughs> okay. I can stab this a into knife somebody's that's sharp? stomach just as easily. Okay. Just as easily. But obviously this Tomorrow, is meant it's for got not sharp. But if it was sure. sharp, yeah. Like, uh, also that. Intimidation factor plays a part. Factor. Like, yeah. if you pull out, if you're like the, if you're like ready to go <laughs> to some carjacker. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Nice I feel like I want to see that. I want to see a news story. Actually, wait. That reminds me. There's a news story <laughs> of somebody pulling out a katana. Are you, on a subway. Are you talking about the uh, the samurai in yes! Arizona yeah. that turned out to be a pedophile that drowned? Yes! <laughs> uh, so, if you don't know, it's the sunshine Wait, really? or something? The, the light rail defender. The sunshine mm. samurai or mm. something like that. Okay, so this is this guy. Trains with a sword. Alright, he thinks he's oh. real good. Okay, he, he watched a lot of anime. Practice in his backyard or something. But anyway, comes out. There's this big. Samurai. There's this big fight. Okay, on, on a subway. He's watched the ancient. And time. he whips out a friggin' full length katana oh, right, and defuses the situation rather than killing the guy. They put him oh, on the news because me. he's a freak. He's a wackadoo. You know. So they put him on the news because it was a funny story, right? So then uh, it went a little sideways because a lot of people were like, "Oh yes, I want to train, learn to train in the way the samurai do." Well, this guy's like late 20s and so he died one day because Tragic. he and one of his students were paddling out on a kayak to go towards an island in the middle of a lake to train now that student that he was paddling out with was a 16 year old girl well, he was a man in his late 20s and uh, she could swim and made no real efforts to save him swim away so I'm gonna guess he was uh, not the saint that they needed him to be, and he tried something, and this girl swim. didn't know a whole lot of martial <laughs> not, arts. He's not she knew how to flip a boat, and she knew how to swim, and that was all it took. Sounds like we have a winner. It was a sad, <laughs> sad death for the Sunrise Samurai. Yeah, whatever, whatever his name he's was. called, I can't remember. Was what was he called, <laughs> Jamie? Can you look that up? Sorry, who now? Oh, the Sunrise the, the Samurai. Look up, look up Subway Samurai. Look up yeah, Subway, Subway Samurai. They call him like the light rail defender. Right, right. right. I've already searched it before. So it's, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> Man, do you really want that browser her street? It's already <laughs> there! Man. Oh, God. Some crazy things online. Cairo Cedro. Yeah. Cairo Cairo Cedro. Yes. Cairo Cedro. Nice. That's what he changed his name to. Cairo. Yeah, like Kenneth Miller or something. That's, that would be his name. Yeah. Cairo. He looks like a Kenneth. Yeah, but that's how he introduced himself on the news report. They're like, uh, you He's said not. like some wacky stuff. Like they're up there, they're like, so like, oh, that was really quick thinking. Yeah, they're like, oh, that was really quick thinking to diffuse the situation with the sword. He goes, yeah, you know, I just. I'm glad I had it with me because I'm a lot more lethal without my sword than I am with, with it. it. Yeah. If I Cairo Sejiro wasn't looking for trouble on the light rail that night, but trouble certainly found him. And when that fight broke out, he was ready for it with his trusty katana. I actually carry this because I, I've become a little bit more dangerous than with, without it than with it. So it's more of a restraint mechanism than a safety blanket. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to shoot my bare hands. I'm going to kill them. It's really a handicap so I don't kill them. I'm like, um, sir? <laughs> that is. All right, big man. I don't think you're training with sword yeah. the right way. That that's is the case. Three feet of steel, chief. <laughs> that is a sharp sword. Anyway. Like, it's a real man, we sword. Talked about, we talked about Phoenix Jones last time. We <laughs> talked about this guy this time. <laughs> They successfully. Uh, we we're gonna talk about unsuccessful vigilantes that, that ended up being criminals every single time. Wait, oh wait, I forgot he was a criminal. The last one was a criminal. He was Jones, yeah, he was selling E. Man, Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Do you, what was it? You uh, either die a hero or live long. Oh, long, long. The <laughs> yeah, interestingly enough, for these guys, they uh, live long. Yeah, some of some of them, some of them, it takes a little. It's a little quicker to become the villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 45 oh, minutes. They'll skip. We'll skip there. We'll skip in a hop. And then we're already there to jail. <laughs> and jail. Or the bottom of a lake. Oh. I'll take jail. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I'll take jail. Final question. Oh. Angel Delgai, 52 from TikTok, asked, Did you know Geico could save you 50 <laughs> <laughs> I did! 
I was did unaware. indeed. I wasn't aware know of that. that. You know, Thanks. honestly, since we're on Geico, oh, God. the caveman, the caveman skits were the best. The caveman. Skits. You know, they tried to make a show out of that. They did. It had five episodes. Oh, I love it. I, loved I love it. it so much. I loved it. it the cave, great. the caveman stuff is the best. Like, I don't get me wrong. I love the the can, gecko. Can you, can you give me an example of a caveman one? I don't remember. You don't. So you have a caveman game? Doesn't matter. Hold on. All right, guys. So real quick, gotta wrap it up. This has been Marshall Talks. It's been a really good time. Be sure, if you have other questions, leave them in the comment of this video or join the Discord of other uh, 500 I'm, other members. Really like all the members. Also, also, don't forget all links to their accounts, their you know Instagram profiles, and all the merch stuff is in the description merch. below. So definitely check it out. That's but until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out.